In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Fabric API for Minecraft 1.21.6. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment, and it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this, where it will provide you with all of the necessary downloads and files, along with a written step-by-step -step guide. All right, so step number one is to download the Fabric mod loader. And obviously, since Fabric API is a mod, we will need a mod loader, and we need to go ahead and go with Fabric. So underneath step number one, you're going to see this download link. So please go ahead and press on that just like so. It is then going to bring you to a page that looks like this, and you just want to go ahead and press on download. Then you want to go ahead and press on download universal jar. And while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about simple game hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're able to make a 24-7 Minecraft server for you and all of your friends. The best part about having your own server is that you can control every single aspect of it. You guys can include mods, mod packs, plugins, you guys can also even make it crossplay if you want. The best part is that Simple Game Hosting specializes in creating modded servers, so you could upload any mod pack you could think of with the click of a single button. There's also dozens of video guides showing you how to do everything. So guys, if this is something that you're interested in feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments all right guys so that's enough yapping out of me the next thing you want to do is you want to locate the fabric installer so if you're on google chrome you should be able to find it on the top right just like so however if you're not able to find it over here then what you could always do is open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads Anyways guys, all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and drag and drop the fabric installer to your desktop just like so. And I recommend that you guys do the same thing. It will just make the process significantly easier. Anyways guys, all you want to do is you want to head back over to the website and now it is time to download the actual fabric API mod. So let's go ahead and press on it just like so. And then it is going to redirect us to a page that looks like this. So what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see the option that says game version 1.21.6 and obviously you want to make sure that it does work for fabric. So here it is guys and all you want to do is you want to press on this green button that says download and again after you went ahead and installed what you want to do is you want to go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop just like you did with the fabric installer. Alright guys, the next thing you want to do is you want to head back over to the website and we need to make sure that we do have Java installed on our system because we will need Java in order to run .jar files, run shaders, mods, etc. So underneath step number three, you want to go to this link over here. It's going to say like oracle.com and then it is going to bring you to a page that does look like this. Once you're over here, please make sure that JDK21 is actually selected. And then from here, you guys could select on your operating system, whether you're on a Linux, Mac OS, or on a Windows. So me personally, I'm on a Windows, so I would go ahead and select on this. Then I would install the x64 installer, and then it is basically going to walk you through the entire setup wizard. It's incredibly easy and intuitive, guys. It really shouldn't take that long. But if you're having difficulties downloading Java, then what I recommend that you guys do is install and run the jar fix. The jar fix is an executable command that will basically attempt to repair all the .jar files on your system and make Minecraft Java Edition work. So underneath step number four, you're going to see this link over here. So all you would need to do is you need to go ahead and press on it. Then you would need to go ahead and install this that says jarfix.exe. Then just run the command and it is basically going to attempt to repair all of the .jar files and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, once you went ahead and installed Java, the Fabric Installer, and the Fabric API, we are good to go. So you want to go to your desktop just like so. And what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and right click on Fabric Installer. Then you want to go ahead and select on Open With. Then you want to go ahead and select on Java TM Platform SE Binary right over here. And you should see this option if you did install Java on your system. That's why I mentioned previously that it is incredibly important that you download Java. But you just want to go ahead and select on Java just like so. And then a menu like this will appear. So make sure that underneath Minecraft version that 1.21.6 is actually selected. Then make sure that the box that says create profile is turned on. Then go ahead and press on install. Once that's done, go ahead and press on OK. And you can go ahead and close out of the fabric installer and the next thing you want to do is you want to open up the minecraft launcher like you normally would once you're in the minecraft launcher please make sure that java edition is selected then you want to go to the top menu and press over here where it says installations from here please make sure that the box that says modded is turned on because this is technically considered a modded version of minecraft but eventually in this list you should see this option that says fabric loader 1.21.6 and once you see it all you want to do is you want to go to the right and press on this folder icon it is going to say open installations folder so please go ahead and press on this 
then you're going to get a bunch of folders that look like this. But do not worry, because the only folder we need to focus on is the folder called mods in all lowercase. And if for whatever reason you don't see a mods folder, then what you need to do is you need to go ahead and make the folder yourself by right clicking, pressing on new and then folder and then calling it mods in all lowercase. So go ahead and open up your mods folder really quickly. All right, so at the moment it is empty. So now all we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be minimizing the Minecraft launcher. Then we're gonna drag and drop the fabric API file inside of the mods folder, just like so. Then once you're done with that, close out of the mods folder, return back to the Minecraft launcher, go ahead and press on play. In the version selector, please make sure that fabric loader 1.21.6 is selected then go ahead and press on play. All right, once you're done with that, here you are loaded into Minecraft and in the bottom left, you will notice that it will say 1.21.6 fabric and then mod it. And then from here, you guys are good to go. And fabric API is incredibly important because a lot of mods for fabric require you that you also download the fabric API. So that's why I strongly suggest that you know how to download fabric API. If you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.